YouTube, welcome to my channel Anna Bella and today I am going to be reviewing my mum, Tracy Beaker, the movie or the three episode series that CBBC have recently produced and by CBBC I mean Children's BBC which stands for British Broadcasting Corporation if you didn't know what BBC acronym stood for. Um, Tracy Beaker is a character in Jacqueline Wilson book series. She has quite a lot of books. There's the first book, there's the second book, and this is all about her life as a looked after child or a child in care. Um, and there have been several TV series regarding Tracy Beaker. There's been the story of Tracy Beaker, which has got five seasons to it. Then there's the spin-off, The Jumping Ground, which is just about the children's home itself. There is also Tracy Beaker Returns, where Tracy Beaker comes back as an adult and as, and as a care worker there, and then she eventually leaves. And now Jacqueline Wilson has written currently two books in the My Mum is Tracy Beaker series. Originally, when the first book came out, people were very upset because it featured Tracy Beaker as a single parent who lived on a rough council estate and they felt that that was a disservice to the character. Personally, I think it was great because it actually shows that a lot of children in care go on to live in council estates, that's a fact. But also, one, Tracy Beaker was not an addict. She was a good parent and she worked really hard to provide for her daughter doing a variety of jobs. Not got a problem with it. That's real life. In fact, Jacqueline Wilson, the author, is famous for writing very realistic stories and complex social problems aimed at children. And she writes them in a way that is not offensive, that is right for their level. I know, looking back, a lot of people go, woo! As an adult, you go, I can't believe it's about that. I was, should I have been read it, reading that? Because you're looking at it through an adult's eyes. But as a child, that's an introduction to perhaps a friend dying tragically or something else happening. She was always very good um, with her books and she still is. And the TV series I think has been excellent about highlighting the needs of a variety of children in the care system. Um, and I think that that's been great because we don't have Grange Hill anymore because it got too grown up. And that was set in a secondary school. We don't have Biker Grove anymore. That was set in a youth club. That got too grown up and people complained. Whereas Tracy Beaker, I always, and the Dumping Ground series, I always feel has dealt with these issues but kept it at a child's level. So the highest rating would be perhaps possibly a 12A or a PG-13 in the American system for some of the episodes, but never quite getting there. It's also allowed other conditions and disabilities to be looked at in a way that is just part of the story. I mean I remember in the dumping ground there was a character called Gus who had autism and he was in the children's home. There were other characters with disabilities or other complex family arrangements and it allowed young people and children to see that not every family is a nuclear family and that's not a bad thing. Not saying that the nuclear family is bad but there are more types of family out there than just one and that's not a bad lesson for children to learn to open their eyes and see actually the lifestyle they're living is very different from the experience of a lot of children or the life that the children in the dumping ground are living is the same as what they're living and that's not a bad thing the my mum is tracy beaker is really good it follows the book um, we also have revelations about Cam, which to me aren't shocking because at the time I picked it up that Cam was LGBT+, which was lovely. Um, we also have Football back again, and he's from the book The Dare Game, and his real name is Sean Godfrey, and he went on to become a successful footballer, and he's in love with Tracy. Um, we also cough, cough, meet <clears throat> Justin Littlewood again. Oh my goodness. It's very nostalgic. It's very tastefully done. Annoyingly, because I'm an adult looking back, I want more. And I want it at a deeper adult level, but you're not going to get that. It is aimed at children and that's how it should be because it's done by the CBBC. But it's lovely. Um, for me, it provided closure. I know that they're going to do another series um, of it. I watched the whole 
three episodes as a film. I thought that was a great way of doing it. It was an hour and 27 minutes, really good, or it split into three episodes, and I think that they're about sort of half an hour each, pretty much, give or take. Um, and it was really lovely. It's so nice to see Minnie Beaker, who is Jess Beaker, that's Tracy Beaker's daughter, actually be. She's quite an introvert. She likes her books. She likes reading. She's not as loud or as outspoken as Tracy. And I actually like the fact that Tracy still has her anger issues. She still explodes. And weirdly enough, Jacqueline Wilson has said that Tracy Beaker is mixed race, which was not picked up at the time, weirdly enough. Um... I really enjoyed um, watching it. It was lovely nostalgic. It was nice to see Cam. It was actually nice to have a great scene with Tracy and Cam and a great scene with Tracy and her biological mother. We acknowledge the past and we move forward. Sorry if that's spoilers, but that's all I'm going to say about that. It's good. It sets up the next um, book. We do see Peter again, who is now a head teacher. It was so nice just to reconnect with all of these characters in grown-up form. I have seen a couple of episodes of The Return of Tracy Beaker, which I thought was nice. Um, but I didn't follow that because I'm not a child, so yeah. But I did watch this. I'm looking forward to season two of it. And that's going to be set when they're at the beach and they own the junk, uh, own the antique shop, the dumping ground, which is brilliant. And it was hinted at at the end of My Mum is Tracy Beaker. Um, movie. It was quite sad. I was so gutted that it didn't work out between her and Sean. So gutted. Sorry, spoiler warning. So, so gutted because I felt that actually that they could have made it. They really could have done. I don't think um, that it's Justine Littlewood's fault. It was quite sad because clearly Justine does want children, but she's got a degree in a business. So, I mean, that's constellation. She's like, good luck, Beaker and Mini Beaker. Beaker and Mini Beaker. Ah, Mini Beaker! She clearly came to just see Jess. <laughs> but it's interesting to see. Um, there were so many good scenes. I really liked the scene where it was Sean, Justine and Tracy. And they were just talking about the past and reflecting on all the people they've known. And it says, where's so-and-so? Where's the other one? Because there were so many characters in the story of Tracy Beaker that you just got lost with them. It was nice to see Peter at the end and see where he's gone clearly being set up. It was kind of weird that Cam got with um, Minnie Beaker's teacher, but I kind of like that. It kind of explains a lot about Cam. It was nice to actually see that she's got two new foster daughters and one of them was pregnant. Um, that is interesting. So Cam's still doing the fostering as well as writing books. It was a bit disappointing to see that Tracy's only got one book and not a load of other books um, written yet. And who's got the royalties? Ah, but there was issues around that, wasn't it? Because she used Cam's money to um, get that book published, which meant that she had to then pay Cam back. Yep. So that's where the royalties for the book went, hence why she was living in that flat. Anyway, yes, I've managed to connect all the dots to that. Excuse me while I just do my ponytail. Woohoo. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought that was great, nostalgic. It was quite actually quite heartwarming and it looked at the most important things and the most important things was actually putting Jess first because Tracy was quite right that Jess is her priority then herself then a boyfriend if she gets one and that's the right thing to do loved it was sad that because clearly Tracy and Sean had a connection and it was a deep one and I think Sean is going to be mourning over Tracy for the rest of his life. Sorry to give more spoilers. Do check it out. Like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you thought about it. At the time, it was quite controversial when the first book came out. People were like, <gasps> she didn't get GCSEs and she didn't get A-levels. And oh my goodness, it's terrible. What example are we setting? But actually, it's a reflection of what looked after children go through and the fact that not all of them get academic qualifications not that you need them to get on in life and I think that's an important lesson that people need to have their eyes open that there is more human experience than just qualifications though qualifications do help anyway enough about that like comment and subscribe and let me know what you thought about watching my mum is Tracy Beaker in the comments below because it was quite nice to actually watch yeah I enjoyed it